Strapped into her wheelchair and helmet on, June McKnight is ready to blaze down the track. She started racing her freshman year, but was worried about what people would think. McKnight is the only female adaptive racer in the region that she's aware of for now. And since I do do it differently, then I feel like I can show people how it's a thing to do and how they can join and stuff if they can't do like track normally on their feet and stuff. June was born with part of her right leg missing and she has scoliosis. She uses a prosthetic limb for everyday activities and tried using a racing leg. It did not work that well. It really hurt my hip and just I wasn't as fast and I just feel like I wouldn't have been able to go as far as I've come with my track chair. She's come far, qualifying again for this year's state track and field tournament. June says it's exciting because she's usually racing against the clock by herself. We do know of some wonderful athletes that have come out of the greater Cincinnati area in prior years. Uh, we're really proud to work with them as mentors, um, but it's crazy to me that they have to get to state in order to actually be competing with peers side by side. McKnight says some of the reason is people aren't aware of the sports open to para athletes. It also can be expensive. She says June's chair costs about $4,000. They measure width of the hips, they measure uh, hips to knees, what the arm length is, uh, what the disability is, what kind of bucket seat does she need so that she can fit comfortably in the chair as best as possible. McKnight says nothing can hold back June or other kids who aspire to race. Do something that you enjoy and don't care what other people think, even if you are doing it differently, and just have fun. In Mason, Paige Barn Local 12 News. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.